anything you said you wanted to be? Yes, you can. This is the Youth Entrepreneur Success Initiative, sponsored by Micro Society, 100 Black Men of Philadelphia, Black and Nobel Bookstore, Wells Fargo, Career Consciousness, Wandering Feather, BME. We all coming together to tell you that yes, you can. And currently, you do not exist in the Micro Society, so we want to open up the door and welcome you in to Micro Society. This is the base right here, Black and Nobel Bookstore. Hey, smile, everybody. Here we go. And I can remember, I don't know what year it was, but it was over 30 years ago, I made my first dollar at the supermarket. They don't have this anymore because there's so many other people out at the supermarket taking over their jobs and hustles for the young children. We used to have that when we were growing up. We could go cut grass and do all these other extra things to create our own money. But I remember when I first made my first dollar, picking up the lady's bag at the supermarket wow. and carrying it to her car. And you know, when she gave me that dollar, I just said I, I, could, I could make hundreds of dollars, right. thousands of dollars, because she accepted me. You know, just on a greeting, good morning, man. You know, you guys got to start speaking to each other. Not just on Facebook and Twitter and all these other things. You guys got to start saying, good morning, how you doing? You know, and that's a big part of business because that's how this started right here. You know, just by being humble and nice to people. You have to start doing that, you know, and start speaking up. That's a big part of business is communication, you know, and confidence. that builds confidence in yourself. You know, being able to talk to people without looking down and, and looking them straight in their face and letting them know that you're listening. And give them a firm handshake. Yes. So I'm just glad to see y'all here today. You know, um, you know, body language is everything. You know, you're here. Everybody wants to be here, obviously, because they're sitting here. If you didn't want to be right. here, you didn't have to be here. So we thank call you that for voting, out. voting with your feet. That's what we call it. Your feet are here. Yes. Voting with your feet. And that's the first step. Thank you, and do not make it your last time here. This, the purpose of this is to encourage you that whatever you want to do, yes, you can. If you want to be an attorney, I'm telling you today, yes, you can. If you want to be an engineer, I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. Okay? Have a plan B. You might not be able to become a rapper. You might not be able to become a basketball player, football player. So you got to have a plan B. I did all the right things, went to college. I'm right here from Broad, Broad area area also. So I come from where you come from. So now, I'm a corporate officer for a major corporation. So I'm here to inspire everybody that yes you can. You want to be a police officer? Yes you can. You want to be a photographer? Yes you can. If you want to own your own bookstore? Yes you can. So we're here to encourage you and inspire you. Each time these things let me know that I could do a business, I could do something with myself, with my energy, and support someone else, be a service to someone, and they would pay me what I ask. Now I have 15 businesses in art. They each work on their own. Whatever's happening, is happening. If one's not happening, something else is. There's always a backup plan. So when we say have a plan B, plan B. I got plan A to Z. <laughs> Believe it. And it works. And I was a designer in industry at 17 years old, graduating out of high school. This young lady that I was with, we got pregnant. Two months later out of high school, we got married. Two days later, I got hired at RCA as an electronic design draftsman trainee at 17 years old, right out of high school, with a secret clearance with the government. In the five years' time, I had 15 businesses in art. I mean, I'm sorry, 15 jobs in designing because I didn't want to work for no one. And I'm not saying don't go out there and get some experience, but that was for my experience. And then from that point, I started my own businesses. When I became a jeweler, and I do gold, silver, diamonds, anything you see in a jewelry store, I make. Anything you think of in your head, I make. And I make it right here. And these brothers and sisters and people that know me for, for a short time and a long time know that I've been doing this all my life. I don't know anything else to do. And what I'm saying to you, you just have, and your, the tenacity that you have here, right. to take this time when other people are sitting home watching, you know, couch potato, bed potato TV, or whatever, you're here to take yourself to the next level. These brothers have taken the time, I've been knowing about 100 black men for years, and I feel honored to even be connected with them. 
that they are bringing this type of thing to Philadelphia, to our communities, and with the youth. They're on the right track. Stay on point. Have a safe journey. And understand that the Creator loves you for loving yourself. I want to introduce you to Mr. Fred White. He's the director of mentoring and training for the 100 Black Men of Philadelphia. That's an organization of all successful black men. And he's going to give you some inspiration today. And he's going to tell you about a 10-week program, mentoring program that we have to get everybody together. So before you can start your own business, you got to get your head together. Too much to tell you. Too much to tell you in the two minutes I got. So I just want to let you know, every time you meet me, I'm going to tell you something about how to be a stronger black man. Okay? I'm going to give you one more piece. One more piece. This brother over here told me about this yesterday. You don't even know who he is. You don't even know who he is. He could be Barack's brother. But I'm going to tell you, he gave me something yesterday that I'm going to give you today. Especially young brothers. Who in here has an ID card? One person. Two people. Who in here has a dollar in their pocket? Who in here has a handkerchief in their pocket? Hmm. What was the last one? Who in here has an ink pen? Forget y'all, man. Young boys. Who the young boys? Young boys. Who in here has an ink pen in their pocket? That's your toolbox before you leave the house every day, every day. Make sure you have your toolbox in there. I didn't get here by myself. You didn't get here by me, and you didn't get here by yourself. Somebody helped you. Somebody got up under you and did this. Now it's your turn to get up under somebody and do the same thing. I love you. Let me tell you something I like just now. Just this second I like. You were stumbling a little bit. You reached over and said, you get the answer. Pushed him a little bit. That's what we gotta do. Don't be afraid to do that. We will all come together like this. My job is to make you like this, okay? Okay? I could tell you a lot more, but my time is running out, okay? Last piece, every time somebody asks you if you got a question, have a question for them. Don't let me have all the power and put it on you. This young boy said, well, look, I got a question for you. Don't be scared, okay? Come up with a question. Okay? How old am I? Why my hair so gray? What my mama name is? I don't know, man, but ask me a question. Okay? Um, but my name is Lee Johnson Jr. and I work for the school district of Philadelphia. Right? All you guys are going back to school this Tuesday, right? Okay, are you looking forward to it? You ready? Now, you got this. It's a very important age that you're in because you guys belong to us. When you're in school, right, in that building getting the education, you belong to us. We're responsible for you, for your safety, your well-being, and most importantly, your education, okay? If there's any time that you feel, and you got the right to do this, that you're not getting the resources that you need to help do your homework or to, to make the environment better, you got a right to talk to anyone in that building, your teacher, the secretary who sit behind that desk, the school police, the principal, the vice principal, you got a right to challenge that. Because this is your education. You are developing a business set. You want to learn. There's, when schools are closed, you can come to a resource center just like this is here. We have a resource center where you can come down to 440. And remember that address is 440. Remember that. You can come down there between those hours. If you got an idea, we can help you research that. If you need access to a computer, you don't need an appointment, just show up. And we can help you with that. It's about big as this room here. And between here, the school, and the school district of Philadelphia, education is there, guys. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. We're here to help you. You guys belong to us. You know, it's not our job. It's our responsibility as men. Okay? It's our job. And all you got to do, you know, we, we want to listen to you, and we want to give you what you need. Just say something, just tell us. And if we see you leaning, we will put back. Top Dollar is my stage, my entertainment name, but Dollar Boys is actually one of the largest entertainment youth groups in the Tri-State area. Okay. And pretty much we have over 15,000 um, registered members throughout the United States. Wow. And we have hundreds of thousands of followers. So we have a record label, we have a dance group, and pretty much what I do is I mentor you, keep them safely off the streets and out of trouble. So like right, and, and one of my biggest things is um, teaching them how to be entrepreneurs and how 
out of here. Multi streams of income. Thank y'all for coming through today. Um, basically, what we are, we are a campaign. Um, we're a movement. It stands for Black Male Engagement, BME. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to promote positive stories for young black males. Um, not even young black males, actually males 14 and up. Um, we want older gentlemen, we want younger gentlemen. We want to start changing the image through media, okay? Um, it's broken down into two phases. The first phase is the call for inspiration. That's where you'll see me and my street team come out and get some videos of your story. Um, Dollar Boys can attest to this. And we'll put it up on our site, okay? Second phase is the call for action. That's where we want you to write a proposal. It does not have to be a professional proposal, but at the same time, it has to be, you know, just a regular proposal. Um, and you're going to put it up on our website, and it gives you the opportunity of winning money to act on the inspiration that you shared with us. Wow. Okay? That grant size is between $1,000 to $50,000. Pass out some Mark Society money to you today. All right? Pass that around. You can buy real things with a Mark Society dollar. Okay? The kitchen, the cafeteria inside your school becomes a restaurant. The nursing station becomes the hospital. The auditorium becomes the movie theater. So everybody has their own job. There's a bank in American society. So all of you have a job, you have a career, you have a business. So whatever school that you're in, we can put a American society in your school.